All right, welcome back for uh, Tiny Battle Publishing, soon to be published Rifles in the Nam, Nam, um, solitaire game. And we are currently playing uh, scenario six, I believe. <clears throat> Search and destroy. Our goal is to find and kill all enemy units here. And uh, with the role, we are going against the North Vietnamese, not the Viet Cong. And the last turn, basically our first squad, I'll call it, uh, entered the map. Uh, it's a rice paddy. But luckily the EM marker revealed nothing happened here. No booby traps and no enemy presence. All right, so now we're moving into the next turn. And we roll our three activation dice, and I'm not going to use a vassal die roller. So here we go. Let's see how many action points we get. Okay, that's a little better. We've got three action points. So we can do some stuff here. Um, we can bring our leader on. Uh, let's see. So there's, now i got choices here. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, see. Let's... I bring these guys on, I gotta roll for a booby trap. But there's no event marker, so that's a safe move. Okay. And so, let's see, I got no bonus action points. I can do a recon move for 2 AP. Actually, that's, uh, that's probably a good idea because you can use reconnaissance later uh, to re roll here, re roll one single die plus two to an attack roll, ignore terrain cover, or minus one DRM. So it may be worthwhile to uh, bank one of those. So actually, that's what we'll do here. So let's uh, let's do it this way. Let's uh, have this guy, our leader, come on for 2 AP. Now, again, we don't do the event marker, but uh, we do have the rice paddy booby trap problem. So we're going to try that out here. So we got one die, and let's see if our leader gets booby-trapped. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have to place a booby-trap marker here. All right, so we place the booby-trap next to this guy. And then we go and find the booby-trap rules here. All right, so here's the problem with a booby-trap. Um, while adjacent to a booby-trap, a unit cannot accept, uh, execute any action except a move. So they've got to spend another AP, which allows it to attempt to remove it or set it off. So they still have two APs left, but I wanted really to move this guy here, doing a recon move. So, and if this guy gets attacked, it's a plus one DRM. Um, so this is an interesting choice. I got two APs. Should I use one and try and get rid of the booby trap and free him up? And then maybe move one of these two units in. Uh, Fortunately, that's probably what I got to do because otherwise this guy can't do anything uh, and he's vulnerable to fire. So, uh, roll 1d6 on a result of 3 or greater, the booby trap is removed. So, let's see what happens with the booby trap here. And that's 2 AP now. 6 on a result of 3 or greater, the booby trap is removed, but that burned an AP. So now they've only got one left. So the question is, who's going to move into the jungle hex? Man with light. Oh, we're going to move these guys. Um, and jungle costs one. So they're going to move. And that's their last AP. And what happens here? The event marker happens here. Let's see what happens. A nine. Booby trap. <laughs> oh, gosh. And there's no more AP, so they're kind of stuck there with this booby trap. Um, and then we now roll. If we look at the sequence of play. Uh, we've done that. Enemy presence check. And again, we're going to roll for that. Because there are not more than one unit here. So one to four is a nothing. dodge that bullet because they're stuck here. So that pretty much uh, yeah, ends the turn. So we're going to go to the turn track. Um, let's see. And we start. We said there was 13 turns. So actually we're at turn. 
going to be starting turn 11 next. So, let's see what we're doing with time. Oh, we're five minutes. We can keep playing this. So, you see, once you get the hang of it, it seems to move relatively fast. So, now we start the next phase. Group creation, I'm not changing anything. So, I'm going to come back here to my handy-dandy die roller. Let's see how many action points I get. Six to two. Whoa. We only get one bonus action point that can be used as an action point. Um, time is becoming of the essence here. Um, probably at this point, the best bet is to get rid of this booby trap. So we're going to try and get rid of it. And that's the only thing we can do this turn. And uh, pull back up the booby trap rules just so I can remember... Let me check over here. Booby traps. 1d6, 3, or greater to remove. Okay, here we go. 2. Boom. Went off on somebody. So that means somebody is suppressed. Um, so then my only question on that is, uh, how do we pick who is suppressed? Hold on. Um, let's see, boot turns are nude. One suppression to a random unit in the group. Okay. Booby traps are nude. One to two, the trap is triggered. Remove the marker. Okay, so, um, let's see. We got four people here. So we'll just, uh, start from the top and go one, two, three, four. And if I don't get a four, I'll re-roll it. So let's see who is suppressed. Reroll. Four. Fourth one down. Oh, my grenade launcher, dude. Too bad. That's not good. We need to rally him. He's one step away from dying. Okay, the booby trap has uh, hurt my grenade launcher. And we've got to roll for enemy presence. Uh, they're not going to keep getting lucky here. One to four. Let's see if they dodge the enemy again. Three. Well, they're getting lucky here. Let's see what that NBA patrol table looks like. Patrol table. Assault rifle cover previous type. Assault rifle hidden previous type. Two assault rifles. Three assault rifles. Now we got no recon points. That's a patrol table and that's a forces table. All right, so that is the end of that turn. So now we're starting turn 10. Um, we've got two out of the four cleared. That's something. But the next one we go into is deep jungle, and uh, one of our guys is hurt too. Grenade launcher guy. Um, no need for artillery yet, but uh, we'll see. All right, so uh, I'll keep this short and sweet. Um, this is our... That's our... Well... Well, let's just keep going. Why not? Uh, so we're on turn 10 now of 13. This will be the last one. Let's see if we can get in any trouble. Okay, we're going to roll our dice here. Two action points. That's what we got here. And it costs two AP to go into deep jungle. And this guy is suppressed. Um... What we could do is, uh, well, I can't rally him without a leader present, and the leader's back here. So, and group creation, they can't do anything. So what should I do here with two AP? Should I live on the edge and go here? Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is this. This will pretty much, this guy's going to move up here. So that's one AP, but he's going to spend another AP and get a recon in the bank. One of those recon points. And then he should be in a position also to try and rally the grenade launcher guy. There we go. So, yeah, recon point. He went up here. He did a recon move to AP. So now he has two recon um, let's see. Let me find a marker. Okay, so that represents our recon point here. We've got one recon point. 
that can be used. Reroll one single dice or add two to an attack or ignore cover vehicles, I guess. Minus one DRM. <clears throat> Enemy entrance tables. Hmm. Could use that for that. So uh, let's go ahead and roll for enemy presence table, and uh, that's tempting. We could use our recon point to prevent that. Okay, so one to four. There's no enemy present. No, we're not going to burn it there. We're just going to do a straight roll five or six. No, they still do not show up on the game here. So if we go to our turn track here, um, we are starting turn nine next. In ten minutes, we'll just keep going here until we find some enemy here. Okay, so we're going to roll on the activation table. And let's see what we get. Deep jungles in front of us. We got a recon point. Okay, we got one action point. We can't do anything but rally. That's what we're going to do. Um, I can do group creation. Uh, I can mix and match any way I want. So I guess what I'm going to do is uh, move this guy. Switch. That's what you can do in group creation if they're in the same stripe. And we're going to see if we can rally the grenade launcher dude. That will be our one AP. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, and I'm just going to use player aid chart. Three plus to remove suppression. Veteran plus one. Um, I don't know. I don't think it said we were veteran, and that only happens when you're playing the campaign game. So I'm just going to some regular line. Let's see what we get. Okay, three plus. I think uh, I think we got it. Okay, so it looks like the recovery action's good. Uh, suppressed units in a group. One BAP if there's no leader, but we had a leader. So the good news is the is no longer suppressed. Uh, the way units die is the first hit suppresses them, second hit kills them. Um, but again, uh, let's see what I did here. I think uh, we we're going to be back on that. So we're going to be back on that enemy suppression roll. Here we go. I mean, the enemy presence. So five or six, and we've got some baddies out there. And there we go. Okay, so we are actually going to place our first NVA units. Uh, I think we roll on the patrol table. Um, let's see, enemy presence. Oh, what did we roll? We rolled a six, didn't we? Yeah, we rolled a six. Place on the patrol table. Place the enemy in the highest stripe with no friendly units. That means they're going to be hiding out in the deep jungle. Hidden deep jungle. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a pain to root out. Okay, let's look at our patrol table for North Vietnam. <coughs> minus one DRM. Oh, I can minus one it with my recon point. I think we're going to do that. Uh, let's delete that, and we're going to get a minus one on this thing. So it's a 1d6 with a minus one. Let's see what we get here. Three, two to three, two assault. Wait, a three goes down to a two. So we got two assault rifles on previous stripes. So we got two NVA. Assault rifles, let's pull them up. Um, I don't know, is one a leader? I don't know. But let's see, and they're going to be in a group. So we got two of these. But the kicker here is, <coughs> that's going to be a pain, is they're in deep jungle. And deep jungle is no good here. We're going to have to go in there and spot them. Ding, Jeep Jungle TN plus one or two all units. Two AP enemy units revealed in Deep Jungle or starting in Deep Jungle are always considered hidden. <clears throat> so these units are hidden. Let's see if I got a hidden here. Yes, I do. 
Um, and so is this unit. So the problem is we have to go in there and root them out. So we'd have to move in there and spot them first. <clears throat> so, and let's see what a AK-47 range one, <clears throat> they're not hit. They're not going to uh, reveal themselves, I don't think. So that sets us up for the next turn. And I'm going to stop here, actually, since we found, or we suspect we found. So we've got both an event marker and hidden units. So this is going to be a tough nut to crack. And uh, we're, we got eight turns left. So this is where we're going to stop here. So far, our units, they ran into some booby traps. Uh, somebody got hurt, but they dodged it. Now they're set up to move into the deep jungle. But there's some hidden NVA there. So... Good enough point here to stop at 15 minutes. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of the game. It moves relatively fast uh, once you understand it. But uh, again, total, you never know what's going to happen next here. So thanks for listening. And when we come back, we're going to see what our Marines do to root out these NBA. So see you at the next recording.